Well, welcome back to another session of LearnToBuildIt.com. I'm your host, Steve Kirscher, and today we're going to be messing around with the Blue Smurf um, Bluetooth adapter for Arduino. Um, I have it hooked up on my Uno here, and it's a very basic uh, connection. First, once you do solder on your pins, um, you end up having power and ground. Does not matter 3.3 or 5 volts, it is set up to be able to do for both. And then you have your RX and TX. Now, when I first read the directions on this, um, they said, you know, put your RX to your TX on your Arduino, your TX to your RX on your Arduino, and I hooked it up that way and I wasn't getting a result. Then I started looking at the code, um, and it does say port 2 and 3, and I hooked it up that way, and um, voila, it worked. So, very simple connection. Um, power ground. Now, there are two extra ports out here, T CTS something. Um, it says that those are used for more advanced serial, in other words, but uh, for basic, you don't need them. And for this basic that I've got set up here, which is just the default code at this point, I will be building something to go along with this. But um, at this point, basic code works just fine, two and three. We are on my Mac. Um, and as you can see in my Bluetooth window here, it did find this. It's called Firefly 3C88. And on the chip, there is a little sticker with the 3C88 on the outside edge. So if you do have more than one of these, um, you will be able to find them. So on my Mac, I had a few different issues with connecting to this device. Um, I did find in the directions you want to use one, two, three, four for your code, but on the Mac it doesn't uh, work. I've heard some bad things about Bluetooth on Mac every once in a while, but as you'll see, it it seems to have some issues. So it just said it couldn't pair, and then I hit it again, and now it should come up with the options window, which will let me finally put in that code. Um, so it's, it's kind of interesting. Um, while we're waiting for that, you'll see down here I have the code, that the default code from SparkFun. And here's where I was talking about with the 2 and the 3 on the device. Now you can see I still didn't get my option window. And I'm not really sure if this is just a bug in Mac or what, but there's my option window finally. Now it does have 1, 2, 3, 4 in there it usually starts with zero, 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 four zeros, and that is the most two common codes. So now when I hit pair, everything should work and it should pair this, but I've even had to do this a couple times on my Mac. So if you are using a Mac, just you know understand that it may not always um, work the first time. Now, once it is connected up here, you'll see it, it, it may just disconnect itself by itself. Um, what I've noticed is it'll stay paired but not connected, and then until I uh, turn into it, it uh, won't stay connected. Also, your green light on your Bluetooth device is not lit until you terminal into it, until it actually has a connection. So, in this case, though, there is two different serials that it's doing. Um, if you look down here at the code, we have the serial 9600, that is going to be the serial window of the uh, Arduino code. And then here's the Bluetooth begin 15 or 115.2. Um, so that's what they're doing to talk on that command. Now they are printing these three commands, which if you um, if you read online, um, it's those are the um, commands to tell it to start uh, pretty much is the easy way to understand it. So as you can see it did disconnect, not a big deal. So on my Mac I'm running cool term. I have not tried this on a PC but you can do uh, hyper term and some other things um, on it. So what I do here is I can go into my options and make sure I'm set at my 115.2, make sure I'm set on the Firefly 3C88 here. Um, and once pretty much the default settings, I didn't set anything else. So then you just hit connect. And when you hit connect, um, you'll see over here it is connected and the green light did turn on on the um, Bluetooth device itself. 
Now I'm connected. So down here I have my serial port and because I am talking to the Arduino and then that is going to the Bluetooth device <clears throat> because I'm terminaled into it, um, I am taking that command and being able to show it on the cool term here. So um, we know that we're getting a signal through. Now what you can also do is on the chip side, not on the Arduino side, but on the chip side, you can more or less cross RX and TX. So if you take the cable and just go from the RX to the TX or the TX to the RX, really doesn't matter. Then up here, you can, um, you can type and it should, um, as long as I hook this thing up correctly, it should be able to type your and see the words. Um, so if I hook this back up the way it was, um, and all I did is cross the two wires. If I hook this up the way it is, I actually get the commands when I type up here. I'm in this section and I type, I get it down below. So <clears throat> I, can, um, I can go down to the computer and I can go uh, back up and it'll go back and forth. <clears throat> but if you want to just test to itself, <clears throat> cross those two wires and you will instantly have your commands. More or less what you're doing is you're sending it out and back into the same window is what you're doing. <clears throat> so, but by having it hooked up this way, it's really nice. You can go back and forth and you can see your commands. So we can write code then that can be broadcasted in either direction and do something with it. That will be my next video. So thanks for watching and uh, please check out the blog. I'll have all this stuff out there for you. 